A few years ago, a local basketball coach suddenly woke up in the middle of the night. In an instant, he was both confused and terrified. He knew immediately his life would be changed forever. But the man you're about to meet is a fighter, and with some special assistance, he barely missed a step. This is where Ed Corporal feels most at home, here on a basketball court. It's not the game of basketball that keeps drawing Ed to the court, it's the players. They inspire me, you know, to be here and be around them and, you know, getting a chance to still continue to do what I love. Ed has loved basketball since he was a boy. In fact, he was a ball boy for the old Kansas City Kings. He would grow up to become a high school coach in both basketball and volleyball, and eventually coach in the pros. But if teaching the X's and O's of the game is his passion, coaching his players about life may be his calling. I sit them all down and kind of told them my story and everything, and I think that kind of helps them a little bit, especially when they're going through uh, tough moments, as you know, in practice and games. They kind of think, well, you know, coaches went through a lot tougher things. You know, I can get through. If he can get through that, I can get through that. In 2013, he suffered not one, but two strokes. The second stroke paralyzed the entire left side of his body. Couldn't move his arm, leg, nothing on the left side of his body. I felt like someone had me pinned down and I couldn't move it. And uh, I just really kind of kind of panicked. Ed would spend the next four months in a hospital. He then began grueling rehab therapy to learn to walk again. But then, as is common in most cases, his insurance plan only covered a few months of therapy. About 700,000 people a year have a stroke. Most of those people never go back to work because most of those people, because of therapy caps, are disabled for the rest of their lives. Ed's the exception, but Ed shows, and many of our other patients show, what's possible. When Ed's insurance ran out, Porritt's nonprofit foundation called Falling Forward stepped in to pay for his rehab therapy. The results? Well, you can judge for yourself. Less than two years after his stroke, Ed was able to dance with his daughter Gabby at her 16th birthday celebration. And that was probably the, the most, uh, you know, memorable night that I've ever had when I was able to do that with her. Coaching is in Ed's blood. And when he was paralyzed, he had one goal, to someday walk back out onto a basketball court and coach again. And look at him now. Once paralyzed and confined to a wheelchair, Ed Corporal is now the assistant coach of Kansas City's new pro basketball team, the Tornadoes. This is good therapy for him. So, you know, he comes out here and he may start tap dancing or running off the floor <laughs> when the guys get too close to him. So it's helping him out and keeping him around the game that he loves. But Ed's recovery isn't just turning heads here. The Falling Forward Foundation flew him to Washington, D.C. to lobby against therapy caps. A member of Congress is crying after Ed tells his story. But politics will have to wait because there's more coaching to do, more teaching, more mentoring, and finding new ways to motivate his players. Hey, you know, I can guard you. You know, I can get to that, ba I can get to that ball, and I've had a stroke, and I can get to that ball quicker than you. And remember that Ed and Sam Port of Falling Forward went to Capitol Hill to lobby for an end to therapy caps. When Congress passed the budget deal just last Friday, it included a permanent repeal of the Medicare therapy cap, so now Medicare patients will get the therapy that they deserve. But both Ed and Sam say there is still much work to be done. It's amazing.